Hello everybody, Steve Pelliquin, get you updated on what's happening this week with Louisiana Raging Cajun softball and of course a big non-conference series for the Cajuns this weekend. The Baylor Bears come in and this one gets you kind of excited, almost like a uh, an NCAA regional as two teams ranked in the top 15 in the latest ESPN.com USA Softball Collegiate Top 25 poll will do battle. The Cajuns number 9 in that poll, Baylor number 13, an opportunity for the Cajuns to play a good RPI team, which is important because Louisiana trying to solidify themselves as a regional host in the upcoming NCAA regionals. The top, um, or should I say the top 16 teams will host. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that the top 16 teams in terms of RPI will host, but it certainly helps. Cajuns number 11 in the latest RPI, an opportunity for them to, to play a good RPI team and maybe move up. Of course, Baylor's thinking the same thing. And of course, later on in the year, the Cajuns will travel to Oregon, who's number six in the latest RPI. Uh, even uh, their season-ending series against ULM will be important as ULM is uh, number 70 in the latest RPI, so that's not bad either. But when these two teams get together, it's normally a, a good games, good series. Baylor will come in, uh, again, number 13 in the country. The Bears are not a team that hits the long ball a whole lot. As a matter of fact, they only have two girls on their roster that have over four home runs uh, on the season. They are a team that likes to run, as evidenced by their leading hitter, Lindsey Cargill, who's hitting a 414 on the year. Only one homer, 12 RBIs, as she's primarily a slapper, but 21 of 22 in stolen base attempts on the year, and Baylor is a team, 61 of 75. They're a team that's well coached by Glenn Moore, a team that doesn't give up a lot of extra outs, a team that takes advantage of extra outs offensively. You know, pitching-wise, they don't have a Whitney Canyon like in years past, but Heather Stearns gets the job done. She's 12-5 and of the year with a 2.50 ERA, but Baylor will throw some other arms at you as they have four girls in their team that have thrown 30 or more innings. And, of course, the Cajuns are kind of similar. You know, Alex Stewart has been the story over the last couple of weekends. Stewart now a perfect 8-0 and on the season with the ERA of 1.08, but of course we all know what Jordan Wallace and Christina Hamilton could do. Wallace 12 and 2 on the year, a 1.82 ERA. Hamilton 8 and 2 with a 2.37 ERA. And we haven't even mentioned Kylie Joe Tron. You know, I think going on the days in college softball where one or even two pitchers uh, really uh, make up the entire staff that throw every game. I think we're getting closer and closer to having staffs in college softball, a one, a two, a three in the start rotation, and these two teams are, are evident of that. Is They really have each about two or three girls that can beat you on any given day. Offensively for the Cajuns, they've scored double-digit runs now, five out of the last seven games. Of course, Lexi Elkins, who was an All-American last year, playing like an All-American this year. She's hitting a, a 420 on the season, along with 19 homers and 48 RBIs. And three other Cajuns have double-digit home runs. Shelly Landry with 15, Haley Hayden, and Kelsey Vincent each with 10. So it ought to be a fun series this weekend at Lamson Park. Single game Friday at 6 o'clock, a doubleheader Saturday at 1 o'clock, and you'll be able to hear all three games on ESPN 1420 and ESPN1420.com. Big non-conference series this weekend for the Cajuns as they welcome the Baylor Bears to town for ESPN1420.com. I'm Steve Poliquin.